Sydney's big league. It's 14 points the difference going into the final term here at Princess Park before a capacity crowd, and what a game it's been. Merritt and Fitzpatrick. Merritt got that one out, although Fitzpatrick's done pretty well in the ruck right throughout the day. Lenahan chasing it and tries to get it into the open. Reed and umpire Soros has decided to come in and warm it up. Been a great match. Lead changed repeatedly in the first three quarters. Carlton got the break and led at one stage by 29 points during the third term. Merritt and Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick got it down. Tries to find Marcus Arnie. On the bottom of that lot, I think, is Bahaja, who has got a push in the back. It's Hawk. Fowler, is it? Yes, Fowler. Hawk. Hawker. Hawker. So Hawker is at left half back. Looks for Crow, couldn't find him. Southby can't get boot to ball. On the shoulder says the umpire and free kick to Southby, who in turn goes for the handball to Wayne Harms. Harms wide towards the wing. Oh, that bounced straight past Greg Wells. Didn't give him a chance at all. Hawker again. Short pass taken by Neil Clark on the wing, just inside the boundary line. Clark, plenty of distance in that kick too. Howell getting underneath it. At the back was Van der Haar. English who's played well in the back pocket for Carlton today, again goes wide towards the flank, and once again, Hawker taking the mark. Hawker, right on centre wing. Decides to go for the short one. Bahaja chipping it and taking it. Didn't really gain much, although, of course, they still have possession. Importantly, Bahaja's kick likewise isn't a long one. Van Bahar was the flyer. Ball booted out eventually towards Sheldon. Sheldon's kick in turn towards centre field. Mark missed out there by Lenahan, is it? Can't do much about that. Tries to knock it over to his teammate. McClure's there. Picked up by Reed. Reed puts Essendon into attack and getting underneath it to take the mark for Harja. For Harja, nearly off. Umpire's goal play on. It'll be a free kick against him. A good decision by the umpire that time. When he took the mark, he didn't look around. It'll be a 15 metre penalty. It's no good doing your block. 14 points the difference. And Carlton one stage in that third quarter with 29 points in front and the Bombers pegged them back. Andrews missed that one completely going for the knock. Tapped out by Buckley. The ball comes back there to Hawker. That's a shocking kick off the side of his boot. Coming in to meet it now is Thompson. He's having a juggling match. A hand pass to Reed. He gets a kick, a short one back there towards Fold and Dool. Dool's the one to win the race for the ball, but he can't pick up. Not a great day for Dool either. Hand pass from Mail and over to Johnson. The ball back there towards that half uh, forward line. And we see uh, Madden coming out, playing at full back at the moment, trying to cope with Mackay. Mackay goes down, he's got one and now it's going to be a free kick there to Essendon. It'll be Stoneham, who's played a fairly good game today. Short pass, and Foles has got the mark on the centre wing position. We've seen a great display of ruck play by uh, Fitzpatrick. He's been magnificent at the ruck. For a guy that's got a broken bone in the left hand, he's certainly... Been firing here today and played a real captain's game. There we see the ball driven up that time by Watson. Over the set of half forward position. Van der Haar flies. Got the mark. No, he's not paying it. He said play on and fair enough. Ball comes back there towards uh, Reed. Reed running an open goal. Fires at the goals and what's the result? It could be through. It's a goal. And now it's only eight points to their front. That's the one Eston wanted. 11 6 72 count to Eston 9 10 64. Reed bringing up his first goal and the capacity crowd on the out reporting that with it. Most of those Essendon supporters, of course. Eustace, Watson, Bahaja, Folds and Reed. What a piece for Essendon. Crow has four. In fact, Crow has kicked 4-1. Essendon's leading goal kicker. 72 to 64. Now at the four-minute mark of the final term. Fitzpatrick has it with the free kick. Tries the short one. Malin who's played well in the second half. Only had two kicks up for half-time. Ashman is at left half-forward. A successful Bork, deep into the full forward position. The big pack of players set themselves, and the mark brought in by Mr Andrews. Ron Andrews in the back pocket. An Eston player in trouble in the goal square, too. We'll pick him up in just a moment. Picked up by Watson, who's had a relatively quiet day, trying to find Thompson, and successful in so doing. Thompson, bad handball. They might get out of it though, Essendon. Nagel. Nagel at right half back goes for the long kick. Duel with the big punch. Sees it over the boundary line and we'll see a throw in. It's not a great match, Duel today, but he was off the field for some little time late in the third, second quarter. Again knocked down by Fitzpatrick. Southby goes through, tackles Bahaja well. Clark missed with the punch, picked up by Wells. Wells's kick is short. Mail it infringing on uh, Thompson and will be penalised the required 15 metres. That's 
30 metres. That's where the mark is, says Rowan Soares. Thompson transfers it to centre half forward. Van der Haar gets there a little bit too late, and the chance is now for English to pick the ball up from the back pocket, which he does. He's been very safe down there, English today. Hunter. Always a consistent player for Carlton, and Hunter now tries the short pass. Picked up by Bazasto, who gives it to Lenahan. Terry Danaher, right on his hammer. Free kick for in the shoulder, or on the head. Call it as you will. He's a long way out from goal, couldn't possibly score from there, Lenahan. But he'll certainly make things interesting as he puts the ball on its way now. Madden gets up and takes the mark in the back pocket. Good mark to Madden down there in the back uh, pocket uh, position. The Bombers have been desperate today. Mackay kicked four goals in the first half, and they had to shift uh, Madden down. I don't know if it's a good move or not. It could be a negative one. We see Neil Danaher go for a pass. It's OK. And he's found uh, Nagel there at half-back. Actually, a little short of half-back. Well, it's only uh, eight points the difference in favour of Carlton. That's a shocking kick and a mark there to mail it. As Peter said before, a very quiet player in that first half. He was really swamped by fouls, but he's been shifted uh, onto the other wing. Ball back there now towards Bazasto. This could be dangerous. Goes for a, a, one off the ground. Coming in to meet it now is Nagel. Picks it up nicely. Runs into trouble. He hand passes to Rob Wells. He's kicked the goal. Oh, golly, what a mistake. What a, oh, he's knocked him down. Nagel oh. knocked Bazasto down. Sensible. Oh, golly, I suppose he was frustrated after making the mistake. It was a bad blue, too. Oh. oh, golly, that's given Carlton the game, I would say, just no about. Books, uh, are coming out. And that could cost the guy the Brownlow medal because uh, he would be one of the favourites. Gully, what a silly thing to do because it was a bad mistake with the hand path, I suppose, through sheer frustration. He's done his block. He wouldn't be too happy about that, Nagel. He's such a good player, too. Scores 12 6 78 Carlton, Essendon 9 10 64. Goodness me. Well, that was one of the sensations here at Prince's Park, and I dare say we'll be hearing plenty more about that uh, later on. Seven minutes gone, final term. 78 plays 64 in favour of Carl. Ball back there towards Bahajar. He's grabbed too high and will get a free kick. So it's 14 points the difference now in favour of Carlton. And as I said before, they had a 29-point lead in that third quarter. Ball kicked up there towards centre-half four. There's English trying to get clear. Well, Eustace taking too long. Ball picked up by Clark. Back to Bahajar. They're messing about. Aston not playing with any confidence at all. A short pass out wide. Going after it now is Eustace. He does a bit of fan. Oh, it's Thompson, I should say. Running to an open goal, fires, but he'll be off target. And it's through for one point. So it's 13 points, the difference. And that's how many games Essendon have won in a row. 13 up until today, but it could be the end of their run, the way Carlton are playing. 74, uh, 78 plays, 65. Ball back into play again. Out there towards centre-half uh, back. McClure there, punched away by the Essendon defence. Back it goes to Van der Haar, overruns the ball. Oh, Watson comes out of the pack with the ball now, runs back into trouble, but his strength tries to get him out of it, but they pounce and they won't let him get away. Carlton playing in desperation at the moment, and the umpire's going to ball it up out there towards the centre-half forward position for, for Essendon. And Carlton showing a little bit more desperation than Essendon at the moment as Watson tries to put his boot back on. Last quarter in progress, eight and a half minutes as we have this ball up at left half forward. Essendon in attack, knocked down by Fitzpatrick, goes to Sheldon. Sheldon's well shepherded. Racing forward out there is Johnston. Stoneham gets there first, couldn't take the mark. Lenahan late on the scene, but it will be a boundary throw in on that half forward flank on the outer side of the ground. 65 to 78 in favour of Carlton. Merritt. Bahaja. Grab. Too high or not? Free kick to Bahaja. He seems to get grabbed too high more than any other player playing. There's not much of him, that's why. He's not out of danger through Andrews. Not a long kick. Ashman, good mark. Ashman is on centre wing. Make a little mistakes, Eston. Peter, they Two. look a little slow when they're trying to break away from the packs. Carlton a little bit more professional at the moment. No doubt about that. Mackay is right in the centre of the ground. With this guy, one of the best kicks in league football, and just as I say that, he kicks into the man on the mark, but he hasn't made too many mistakes today, David Mackay. Zasto doing a little bit of sorting out as we see again a ball up to take place only about uh, four or five meters from the circle Knocked down by Fitzpatrick Madden I'd like to see him back in the ruck of Essendon are going to have a chance Harms Alive with English Picked up by Watson and well played but well tackled by Bruce Gould English over the Harms Carlton 
very professional in defence, although it doesn't bounce too well for Wayne Harms. Tackled by Thompson, or Eustace. Picked up by Neil Danaher, likewise tackled well by Hunter. A snapshot for goal for Eston by Eustace, who's off target, but it will be a free kick. And it will be taken by Neil Danaher, I think. Yes, it is. Danaher to get the free kick. You can see the angle. The goals are about, or goal is about, uh, well, let's see, 20 metres, 30 metres out. This would be a very valuable one for Essendon as Neil Danaher lines it up. 35 metres from goal, in he comes. Fires, it looks OK, is it? Yes, I think it's through. By the skin of his teeth, Essendon come closer again. Neil Danaher bringing up his first goal. Carlton 12-6-78, Essendon 10-11-71. Well, there's a difference of, what, seven points, Peter, so the Bombers are still in there. Perhaps surprisingly so, because Carlton have really been the better side since half-time, but Essendon within seven points and with a real chance. Last quarter, seventh big league, 11 minutes gone, final turn. Fitzpatrick once again, punched away by Andrews, back towards Zamarkazani, couldn't get out of the pack, there's Wells trying to get it out to McClure, he does. Down it goes there towards the full forward position, picked up by Madden, he goes down, they collar him, holding the ball against him. Watch him get up and go mad about this. Well, they fall on the ball, they must expect the consequences. It seems to be the go today, fall on the ball and smother it and hope to God the umpire balls it up, but Robertson wasn't falling for it then. So a chance now uh, for Johnson to kick uh, goal number one. Fires, and he uh, has put it through for a goal. So at the 12 and a half minute mark, we see Carlton going in front again by 13, uh, 13 points. 13, 684 Carlton to Eston, 10, 11, 71. I agree with your comments, Lou. I don't think there was much else some far Robertson could do. Uh, Madden was tackled well, and he seemed to hold the ball well, for a fortnight, really. Well, it seems to be the go with players today to get themselves out of trouble. When they run into trouble, they uh, fall on top of the ball and expect the umpire to ball it up. And uh, it doesn't work out every time. And the more the umpires do this, it'll stop the players from using those tactics. And hunting in packs, which certainly doesn't add to the game spectacle. And uh, by and large, a good decision by umpire Robinson. Seventh big league action from Princess Park. Now 13 points the difference. Fitzpatrick against... Uh, Merritt again, Fitzpatrick again, got it down to Bazasta, in a bit of trouble there, can't get out of the pack. And there we see a free kick, it'll go to Terry Danner, who's been one of, the, one of the Bombers' best players today. Probably their best, Lou. I would say so. Been a very consistent player. He's got to go and kick back over the mark, a little short of centre field. Oh, that's a kick, doesn't help very much. There's Nagel taking the, the mark. There's a bit of a wrestle going on behind play, but the umpire's letting it go on as Nagel kicks it back over centre half forward. Hunter drops the mark and ricochets off the pack. Going through his duel, he gets a throw out, actually. Back to Buckley, back there to Wells. And Carlton take the ball away from the danger zone. Coming in to meet it now is Terry Danaher, the guy we were talking about. Oh, he ran back into Bazasto. It could have been a free kick. Aspen's grabbed down. He goes. How about that for tackling? Another one. And down goes Bazasto. The umpire letting play go on as Ronnie Andrews gets the ball. Stand clear as he kicks it out wide to Timmy Watson. Will he get there on time? He's on his own. He's got to paddock the run in here. He decides to go for a bit of a bounce. Merritt met Johnson, went down. Now Timmy Watson, a hand pass, back over there. Back to Stoneham, back to Watson. Another hand pass back. And there we see the ball coming out wide, picked up by Stoneham again. And shot down towards the Eston half forward line, but Harms is there. Oh, he dropped the sitter. Now he's in trouble, he's grabbed. Ball goes back to Vanderhaag, weaving his way through the pack on the boundary line. Running to the goals. Will he kick it? He better hurry up. A long hand pass over there to Reed. Reed's in trouble, fires, he's missed it. He's missed it. I thought Vanderhaar would have fired that day from the boundary line. Would have been a better go, I'd reckon. So it's 13 6 84 Carlton to Western, 10 12 72. What a game it is. Well, Vanderhaar certainly didn't have the angle in his favour, so seeing Reed in a better position, although under pressure, he gave it to him. As it turned out, it didn't work out. Bad kick by Harms, it goes to Buckley. Buckley just short of the centre half back position. Puts it towards the outer side. Well, they all missed that one. Maybe the sun was in their eyes. Something we're not used to at this time of the year. Nagel to Stoneham. Watson on the move at half four. Well covered by Johnston. Duel. Misplaced handball, but it goes to Malin. Into the open spaces now in the press box wing. 
see who can pick it up first. It's out of bounds before Neil Clark can get there. And a boundary throw in right on centre wing. I think it proves the point that Timmy Watts is not that uh, fit, not 100%. He usually streaks away from those things, Peter. He was under a cloud earlier in the week. That's right, Lou. Fitzpatrick was likewise and has infringed or will get the free kick. Best player on the ground by a mile, this guy today. Especially his first half. That's a beautiful kick. Torpedo punt kick. Should be more of them. Bozasto and Terry get in the tangle. And the free kick will be Bozasto's, but you can't do that, Peter. He has to go back and take the kick from left half forward. Now he's seen Malin, who made position well. Malin's clear of Andrews, fires, and that's a goal. Doesn't play the lead with man. Certainly doesn't. Malin putting through his first goal for Carlton. The Blues go further ahead to 14-6-90, leading Essendon 10-12-72. There's no doubt about Pazasto, Pino. He's one of the most creative players we've ever seen in your life. You know, he, he was a bad player the first half, but he kicked, uh, what, three goals in the second and third quarter. And, of course, he's always thinking to give another a, a teammate a hand pass. 16 minutes have now gone in the final quarter. Three goals the difference. Can Carlton hang on as the ball has bounced again? Crow and Fitzpatrick neither get it effectively away from the circle. Crow tries the backhander. Carlton go forward again. Here's Pazasto once more, gathers it in at left half forward, hotly pursued by Stoneham, but he gets it back to Johnston, who fires out of the post. And that would have been the winning goal, I'd reckon, because it would have put Essendon four goals down, as it is there, 19 points in arrears. That could be enough. 91 to 72. Terry Danaher does the kicking in. Crow was the flyer. Lenahan at the back. Goes to Buckley. Wells has a pot shot from 35 metres out. It's dropping short. Mark taken by Terry Danaher. Hawker. Good ball. Gets uh, Essendon out of trouble. Momentary perhaps. Duel. Cannons into the back of his opponent. Off the ground from Harms. Past Buckley. Hawker again. Getting a lot of possessions on that wing. Buckley tackles him, but it's too late. Marcus Arnie. Right on centre wing. Tries the short pass. OK, Wells looks for Fitzpatrick. Bounce doesn't favour the skipper at all, but he's good enough to pick it up. He's right on the boundary line, though. We'll try and put it high into the 10-metre square. Looking for Johnston. Johnston and Stoneham. Johnston tries to kick it off the carpet. In the meantime, a whistle is gone. Free kick to Stoneham. Stoneham to take that kick down there at the full-back position. 91 points, Carlton to Western, 72. About 17 minutes gone of this... Uh, Last quarter, oh, that's a bad kick. Too long there for Terry Danaher. Comes into meter, he gets one from Bazasto. Bazasto goes after it again. They pile on top of him and they ball it up at centre half four. Now well, there's no doubt about it. Bazasto certainly lifted his game since. There's a uh, fight in the crowd down in front of us, Luke. Well, that's not bad either. Oh well, let him go. Back to the game now as we see Bahaja trying to pick it up. He runs into Johnson, loses the ball actually, picked up by Reed. A hurried kick back there, but too many uh, Carlton players there on a good mark taken there by Harms. Only two players down there on the Eston forward line. The rest are up there over the half forward line. Back it goes. Eston players spawning each other there. It's picked up here now by Sheldon. It's up for goal. This is coming around enough. It's uh, one point. Well, the score at the moment. 14-8-92 Carlton to Eston. 10-12-72. And the fight down in front of us quietened down. Guys got a blood you usually get that when you get into a fight if you can't handle yourself. Simon Madden, the ball tapped down again, pushed on by Sheldon. Terry Danaher, no doubt Eston's best player down there at half back. Gets around uh, Mackay, another hand pass coming over here. Oh, around the neck. And that's a would be a free kick to his brother as the ball is finally kicked up there. But there's too many Carlton defenders here. English having a bit of trouble picking this up. But now he's clear of the hand pass over to Wayne Hart. And they're backing up. Down goes Wayne Harms from Bahajar. In comes Wells at centre field. Taps the ball nicely over to Mark Azan. Another one back to Buckley. And they've got the bombers rattling at the moment as the ball goes up there towards McClure. It's nearly a goal. There's a goal. What a beautiful goal by Buckley. And they pick him up. But they're happy about that. And of course, they've given the bombers a lesson experience here today. No doubt about that. What a great goal that was. That was from inside the centre square, Lou. 15 8 98 Carlton. Essendon 10 12 72. I don't know about that goal, and of course I think Buckley might have been more amazed than uh, his teammate because it certainly travelled a long distance. Backs up what I said before about the wind certainly favouring that end too, which Carlton are kicking this term. I think that could be enough to give them the match. 
20 minutes now gone in the final quarter from Princess Park as the clock ticks away. Essendon really do have the job in front of them now as the ball back into the centre. Crow and Fitzpatrick. Crow wins that one out. Nagel couldn't take it on the way through for Essendon. Neil Danaher comes out with it, gives it to his brother Terry. Under pressure. Out it goes to Eustace from Schultz. High towards full forward. Out comes uh, Merritt. Carlton defence has been very, very good though today. Reed. Ball down towards Danaher again. Neil Danaher shoots at goal, well off target, and goes through for only one point. And that brings the scoreboard now to 73 points to 98, a difference of 25. So Eston have got to kick five goals in the space of around about 10 minutes to win the match without Carlton scoring. Mark taken out there for Eston by Eustace. Kicks it back whence it came. Plenty of Carlton players in the square. Merritt flies and has brought it down. Had the run in. Well, Merritt has not scored a goal for Essendon so far today. I suppose it's about 10 or 11 minutes to go, Peter. Maybe 10 at the outside, I reckon, Luke. The way Essendon are playing, though, they won't be able to get up. That's a goal, so that brings them six points closer. Merritt's first goal. And the scores now Essendon 11 goals, 13, 79 points, trailing Carlton 15, 8. 98. And there we see one of the uh, combatants being taken away, and that was the man that suffered the broken nose. There's plenty of him, but uh, he's not sunbaking, I'll tell you that. He's got his shirt ripped off. He's lost his shirt and his dignity as well. 79 plays 98 now on Sevens Big League. Final term at Princess Park in progress, 22 minutes. Centre bounce again. 17 points in favour of Carlton. Crow got the knockout. There we see uh, Aspen getting the ball out of the pack towards that half forward line. Nearly a mark to Fowler. There we see Johnson messing about, going for a hand pass out to McClure. It's intercepted that time by Andrews. Back to Johnson again. He ran into two of them that time and dropping the ball. Didn't have much chance, Johnson. We see Stone take the uh, free kick at centre half back. He's played a fairly good game. Two over to Nagel. Nagel's clear at centre half back. A hand pass coming over here now to Terry Danaher. Oh, round the neck again. At least Buckley stopped him. And of course, about uh, two minutes ago, we saw Buckley kicking a, ma a magnificent goal from about 65 metres out. Ian Nagel having a few words there. There's a long hand pass coming over there to Fowler on the centre wing position, right on the edge of the square. A long kick up there towards the full forward position. Oh, Van der Haas got it. Right now. And he's only about uh, 15 metres out from goal, directly in front. And of course, if he kicks this, it'll make the difference 11 points, and they're back in there with a chance again. Got to kick it, yet, Luke. Well, he's got to kick it, and the pressure on Van der Haar. Golly, you wouldn't have given him a chance uh, five minutes ago, the way Carlton were playing, would you, Pete? No, certainly it's wouldn't. Kick by Van der Haar. Another goal, 11 points the difference. And uh, we approach the, what, the 23-minute mark, 15-8, 98. To Eston, 12, 13, 85. Well, still in there with the chance. 13 Eston. points, Ben, I'm sorry. Still in there with the chance, that's right. 13 points the difference, and we've probably got, I would reckon, looking at the clock, about six and a half minutes left for play. Assuming that we can get a 30-minute quarter in, there's still time for Eston to win. 13 points the difference. Approaching the time-on period, knocked down uh, to Sheldon. Sheldon's long kick up towards full forward. Mackay in front. Madden goes for the punch. Here's Johnston, but he gets collared pretty quickly. Essendon defenders descend upon him. Stowed him in there, but the umpire has decided to ball it up. And that ball up will take place only about 15 metres out from goal. What a great match this has been from start to finish. Madden does the ruck work. Down to Bazasto, though. Bazasto snaps for goal. It won't be a score. Fold's getting underneath it and knocks the ball clear of his Carlton opponent. It gives the chance out there to Crow to pick the ball up. To Reed, well tackled by Lenahan, drops the ball and will be free kicked. Lenahan from the right half forward flank will put Carlton back into attack again. He's gone for the short pass to Ashman, and Ashman doesn't let him down, takes the mark. Very good player today, Rod Ashman. Certainly wouldn't have done his Brownlow prospect any harm at all by his performance today. 20 kicks under any circumstances, good football. Ashman. About 45 metres out on the angle, fires at goal. Won't quite make the distance, knocked away by Terry Danaher, past Watson and goes to fold, this time in front of Lenahan. Around the boundary line it goes. A mark taken for Eston. 
Uh, Hawker. Oh, Hawker. Centre wing, knocked down by Southby. Harms, back to Southby. Carlton cool in the crisis. It's a real high ball, that one. Bazasto flies, but he took off the four nominations. Tackles his opponent, but he didn't have the ball. That was Bahaja. It goes to Nagel. Nagel over the top of McClure. Not good handball. Andrews has had a quiet day. Back to Nagel. The Bombers are alike now. They've got to score pretty quickly. Nagel to the right half forward flank. Fitzpatrick in the front of the pack on his own. Takes the mark. I don't think that did his hand much good either. But cool in the crisis. Mike Fitzpatrick will go back for the kick and is going to take plenty of time. Why shouldn't he? Under a crowd, and he's probably been the best man on the ground. Fitzpatrick taking a week and a half and has to surrender the ball. Good umpiring. Free kick going Essendon's way to Eustace. Eustace into the goal square, knocked away from Van der Haar. Snapshot for goal for the Bombers by Hawker. One point. 26 minutes gone, 98 to 86. 12 points the difference. Waiting now for the ball to come back into play. Well, the Bombers have got a chance. I'd say there's about uh, four minutes to go and probably five at the most, Peter. Yes. That'll see it out. But there's time uh, for rest if they're good enough. But Carlton will be very stiff to lose this game, but uh, since half-time they've been on top. Oh, there's a mark dropped by Mark Azani. Kicked out by Crow, he's clear now. A hand pass coming over to Watson. He's not moving so well, gets the ball up there towards the full forward position, but a good mark to Hart. Standing up well, that uh, back line at the moment for Carlton. Arms right down there at the full-back position. Brings the ball back out to the half-back flank position at the back as Hunter flies. Just about marked that one, but finally picked up that time by Schultz. Oh, uh, Bahajo and Neil Denner, who messed each other up that time, that allowed the halves to kick the ball back towards centre field. Foles taps it over nicely to Andrews, goes for a long kick. Up there towards that forward line, but there's that defence again. A good mark to English. Still 12 points the difference. English with the free ball, the mark. 12 points, two goals for a draw would be the best Essendon can hope for. Hawker getting underneath the ball. Folds goes for the punch and gets it down to Hawker. He plays on. In towards the forward pocket. It's all Carlton, Howard in front. Neil Danaher gets pushed in the back by Duell. And the umpire will come in and decide to ball it up. Time running out for Essendon. 28 minutes gone now in the quarter. Capacity crowd here today for this match. Knocked down by Fitzpatrick. Marcazzani to Malin, to Wells. Gets caught, play on. Thompson's there. Schultz calling for it. Terry Danaher, and he takes the mark. 35 or 45 metres out in front of goal, and he plays on, maybe foolishly. Nagel, long handball this time to Watson, who shrugs the tackle. Bork, 30 metres out and shoots, but off target. And through for one behind, or is it out of bounds? It's a point, 11 points the difference at the 28 and a half minute mark. Well. Bombers still attacking, and we wait now for Wayne Harms. Of course, that was a dramatic move uh, just a moment ago when Fitzpatrick took a fort. Uh, well, it took a long time to kick the ball, and umpire Robertson took it off him and gave Essendon a chance to go on to attack again. Took a lot of courage by the umpire that time. The ball back there towards Nagel and Sheldon. Punched away by Sheldon. Good play. Back there towards centre field. Nagel going out to fix it up nicely. He's clear. Gets the ball back there towards the full forward zone. Plenty of uh, Carlton defenders there. Oh, there's plenty of markers to uh, Daniel Danaher right in front. Oh, God, if he kicks this, he's already kicked one goal. He's only about 30 metres out. He wouldn't be 30 metres out. You can see the goals there on the screen. He puts this through. It's only five points the difference. So it's five points the difference now. We've got about two and a half minutes to go, I reckon. We're about 29 minutes into this last quarter. There's the score, 15-8-98, Carlton to Eston, 13-15-93. Oh, they're going to pull this out of the air, Eston. Can they get up and win it? They're 14th in a row. There's Simon Madden coming up to urge his players on, going back to the full-back position. Oh, the pressure's on them all now. Fitzpatrick's got to get this knockout. He's got most of the day. Bounce back there towards Merritt. Actually, picked up by Watson. It's a smothered kick out there towards the wing position. Coming out to meet it now is Hawker. Overruns the ball. Taps it on. He's got it. And the Bombers back into attack again. Up she goes to Denner. Oh, the Bombers crowd are going mad. He's kicked two goals. And he's only about uh, 30 metres out from goal directly in front. And, of course, if he kicks this, the Bombers have won it. And what a game this has been. This could be the...
first rehearsal for the grand final of 1981 as Neil Danaher comes in for the kick that could possibly win the game. And he's put it to him, the was a bit in the front. One point and three goals for Neil Danaher. 15, 8, 98. And there's Simon Madden going up to his mates and saying, keep going. The siren's nearly there. 14, 15, 99. What a game. At the 20 minute mark of this quarter, Carlton with 26 points in front and they've lost the game. Well, I don't say they've lost it, but we're right on the 31 minute mark now and the siren due to go. There'll be a bit of packing up by the Eston defence, I should imagine. Well, no one got that knockout. Knocked out by Nagel. Back there to Foles. He got one in the back. It'll be no play on as Foles comes out of the pack. What's it was? And the ball driven up there towards the full forward position. Danaher coming in. Couldn't hold the mark. Dill comes out of the pack. Gets a kick back towards the centre of the ground. Oh, Crow dropped an easy one. Picked up by Johnson. Andrews going through. Got one in the back. And they've got a free kick. And that could win the game. He's got one boot up. He's right boots up. What a dramatic game as the ball goes back to Danaher again. Battling there with Dill. It's kicked out towards Reed. Reed goes down. They're into his back, he can't get it clear. And what, uh, as we said, uh, Schultz, uh, Thompson gets it out to Watson. He finally boots the ball back over his head, it'll be out of bounds. Uh, uh, you know, it's so exciting. Uh, I think it's a day for heart attacks here today. You wouldn't have given them a chance. I'm not kidding. At the 20-minute uh, the mark, they were 26 points in front. And it just goes to show you can't coast when you're against a good side like 